Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm in a lot of Facebook groups um, that support each other by sharing SVG files and images. But I have noticed that a lot of people are having trouble converting those into Cricut. So I just thought I'd give you guys a quick demonstration on how I do it. First, just go to Google or if there's an image on Facebook that you saved, you could also use that. Here on Safari, all I did was type in Grinch SVG. SVG, coloring pages, outlines, PNGs, those are your keywords because you're looking for an image that is good quality. It doesn't have to have color. I actually prefer where it doesn't have color, but since these have watermarks, you can't use them. So we're just gonna stick to this one here. Once you've found the image that you want to use, just go and add it to your photos and save it to your computer. Once it's saved to your computer, we can head over to Cricut and start a new project. Here, I'm going to hit upload and select from my photo library. As you can see, I saved it right here. Now, this image here is just a black image because I have not removed the background or removed anything from here. If I click remove and just hit outside, it removes the background already. And this is what we're going to have. Of course, you want all the detail that's inside the image. So we're going to remove all the color by just clicking on it. And as I click, you can see here, we start to just get the outline. And that's all we want, just the outline. Now you can see here, we have basically the outline that we wanted. I'm not going to remove the red in the eyes because if I remove the red, it's going to delete the eyes completely since there is no outline around the eyes. So if I click on them, they basically just go away and we don't want that. So I'll just leave them black and not delete them. Just like this. Once you're happy with your image, just click next. And if you wanted to smooth it out, you could do that here, but it looks pretty good to me, so I'll just click next again. And we're gonna save this as a cut image. Now we can insert it over into our design space, and here is the image. From here, we begin to contour. I'm gonna click actions, contour, and I like to start with just the base and the base is always usually black and I remove everything that's inside the image first and it's very easy you could just click on them as you go now that I click out here is just the base from here we're gonna duplicate and I like to just pick a color and go with it so let's start with red so we're going to contour again and the only thing red is the hat so I'm clicking on that and I want to remove the black, so I'm just going to click on the outside of it. And now it removed it. And we click out, and there we go. In edits, we're going to change the color and apply, and that is our red hat. Moving on, actions, duplicate. Now we're going to do white, contour. And don't forget the little details. You can always zoom in and out, just if you need it. And now we have the white, we can edit and change the color. Moving on, actions duplicate. Now let's do green. So we're going to contour and green is basically the whole face. So I'm just going to click in the face and all the little details that are in there. I'm not going to do the eyes because the eyes are yellow. But this should look good. Now edit and change to green. Now we're going to duplicate again. Contour and the final part are the eyes. Which are yellow. And there you have it. You can see how easy that was. It only took about five minutes and that's because I'm recording and explaining as I go. But it's very easy to do. If you guys have any questions or have any requests on type of videos you want to see, please let me know and have it down in the comments below. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much.